Okay, everybody, I am in our kitchen, and Steve was out here making coffee, and he noticed a lot of activity in these plants right back here. And this is just west of our house. You can see our table, and you can see our bird tape on the windows, and then the big sugar maples. We have three of them west of our house. But all this understory vegetation we have either planted or Mother Nature has planted since we have lived here, which is now about 12 years. And so it's a lot of spice bush and spring ephemerals and summer woodland plants and fall woodland plants. We've talked about the wild ginger and bloodroot and cohosh, all of this that we are working on putting back. But this cover is what a lot of migratory birds love. And today, I've tried twice to get the birds in the video, but alas, I am not stealthy enough. <laughs> Imagine that. But we have a significant number of thrushes and oven birds that are hanging out back in here on the ground and on the low sticks, even out in the path just where the leaves are. And they're kicking around and looking for insects and put, picking insects off of the plants. And it's remarkable to see because to get them to stop here, to have the food they need to eat, to survive, to continue their migratory journey was not hard to do. It just wasn't hard to do. It was so easy to plant and let the leaves drop and let sticks lay and let the thickets that they like be here so that they can skulk around undercover and be safe. And so I just wanted you to see from our kitchen window what that looks like. The bird bath is right over there. You can see this isn't even a big area. The yard is right there. That bright white patch it looks like in the video. And then the bright past the trees is the farm field to the west that we don't own. So that's all open and it's soybeans right now. But this patch here, which we've joined up with the mother walnuts that I feature often, and the south gardens just by creating these pods and paths so that there's connectivity has attracted these birds. And it makes us feel so excited because not only do we love these birds and find migration just absolutely fascinating, not to mention just awing because how on earth do these small birds do that? They're just built so remarkably well. And it's delightful to be able to witness such a remarkable being here on this property. And that's all just because the veg is here and therefore the insects are here. So it's easy to do, and I invite you to do it. And if you've not checked out birdcast.info, do that. It's forecasting for migration. Every evening, these maps pick up birds. They often pick up insects. And it's really cool to see your own area light up and then know that the very next morning, you might have a lot of birds in your area, especially if you're doing habitat restoration. And then you don't have to chase the migrants. You don't have to go anywhere. You can actually just have them right there in your yard, in their yard. And it's a win-win for everyone. Okay, so birdcast.info. And the birds didn't pop out for us here. But again, we've had thrushes and oven birds. I mean, at least three oven birds, at least three thrushes. And that's just what we've seen. So I'm assuming there's a lot more. Thanks for watching me or thanks for watching this area through this window with the bird tape but i think you can see what we got so do it just get to planting it's easy it's fun and it's so important